Aquarius. Yay, I have finally made it to my sign. Y'all know I'm finna show a little bit of favoritism, okay? But I'm still not gonna hold any exceptions to Aquarians. My mom is an Aquarian and sometimes we do butt heads. We do not get along, honey, okay? We are so damn creative. Our minds are literally genius. Many geniuses were actually born under the Aquarius sign. We are one of a kind. We do not like to be like everybody else. We love to stand out, which is probably why I had a lot of issues with YouTube in the first place. Cause I don't, I'm like, I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. I gotta do me. We stand our ground and we do not tolerate bullshit. We love the truth. And you know, to see something like really stupid, it's just kind of not our G, it's just not our vibe. It's not our MO. We're not about that. We just can't tolerate any type of dumb stupidity. We are everything. And I make no apologies for that. Like, we look at the bigger picture. We don't always, we, we are never in the present. We're always in the future. We're always looking at stuff from future bird's eye view perspective. We do not look at the physical. We look at the spirit and we always read between the lines. We're very, very, observant people we can tell when somebody is being fake and when somebody is just like being really stupid and manipulative and you know that's a really great trait to have when you're like trying to make it through this world you got to be able to read between the lines because what you see is not always what you get and what you get is not always what you see we will find a way out of no way okay we will find a way out of no way we will find a what seems to be not an opportunity and we will turn it into an opportunity. And people will be like, damn, how did you do that? All of that being said, we ain't perfect either. We got our flaws, we got our mishaps. We have a hard time opening up to people because we reserve our emotions for the people that are closest to us. Don't trust easily which is actually a good thing. You shouldn't trust everybody. I see people who like have been dating somebody for like six months and then they're married to them in the seventh month or they're having a baby. And I'm like, hell no, hell no. He could be a serial killer. I dated, me and my husband, we dated for five years before we got married and six years before we had a baby. So like, I, and then sometimes I'm still like, do I even trust you? Are you plotting against me? We are terribly indecisive, honey. Like, we have a hard time making up our minds, which can stem down from procrastinating, and that is where I'm at in life right now. That's what I'm trying to work on. I'm trying to evolve, and I'm trying to grow because being indecisive has not gotten me very far at all. It's actually caused a lot of problems and a lot of destruction in my life, and yeah, like, I am totally trying to work on that. And this also is when we are very unmotivated, when we are not passionate about something, it's kind of hard for us to want to actually do it. We we put our all into everything that we do. It, we're, we really thrive off of motivation, but sometimes doing the stuff that you don't want to do, doing the stuff that you're not so passionate about, is still just as important, you know, for doing the things that you are passionate about. Like, I'm not passionate about washing my face or brushing my teeth sometimes. Sometimes I'm just, I'm just being completely honest, but I have to do it. I have to be disciplined. I have to brush my teeth every day and I do have to wash my face. I do have to, you know, take care of myself. Sometimes I don't want to go to the gym. I ain't passionate about going to the gym every day, but it's something that I want to do. It's something that I need to do. It's something that needs to be done, so. Rejection is not our strong point, you know? Like sometimes when somebody messages, when I message somebody and they don't message me back like right away or within a time period that I think is feasible, I take that like not as a grain of salt. Like I take the whole bag. I really take offense to people who don't, you know, consider messaging me back. And even though I know that I have the tendency to do that sometimes, we also have a tendency to be very mean and very blunt. That can be pretty bad sometimes I've lost a lot of relationships simply because I just don't care and I just get straight to the point and I just tell people hey you have a problem and yeah a lot of people don't like to hear the truth 
Um, so I don't really think that's a bad thing, but I just think that the, that the, that the delivery about in which you go up doing it has to be a certain way because it's not necessarily what you say, it's how you say it. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. I am going to be doing so many more of these types of videos because I just love astrology. I just really do believe that astrology and how the the stars and the sun and the planets were aligned when you were born has a lot to do with the type of person you are, the type of people that you associate with, um, the type of career you choose, the type of mate that you choose. You know, of course, a lot of the influences, the influences that you grew up around, whether it be in a bad influence or the way you were raised, has a lot to do with you being the type of person you are as well. But I just feel like when we are equipped to know who we really, really are, we will know, we will have the tools to make ourselves better. And that's what this type of thing is about. So I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. Please leave some comments below. Please like the video. I want you to like the video so that you can just show YouTube that this is what you want to look at. I will see you guys on the next video. And remember, there is no change without challenge. And I will see you guys again soon. Peace. So.